Alright guys, just finished up rolls 46 to 50. We have them all laid out here to go through. And again, we had quite a good bit of variety in years and mint marks. But let's go ahead and take a look at the results here. And surprise, surprise, we start again with uh, the wheat pennies from 1930. Uh, this time though, we have three from 1930. There were two from 1934, five from 1935, 13 from 1936, 10 from 1937, three from 1938, 14 from 1939 and it seemed like these wheat pennies from the 1930s were in uh, pretty decent condition there was an entire roll 50 from 1940 there were five from 1941 with a D mint mark there were three 1942 D's, 9 1944 D's, 11 1945 with a D mint mark, 11 1946 D's, seems like we've gotten quite a bit of D mint marks in the 1946 over the last couple of videos. There were 19 1954 D's, 2 from 1955 with a D mint mark, and then there was an entire roll of 1958's. There was 49 without a mint mark, and then to complete that roll, there was another one from 1958 but with a D mint mark and this 1958 D is in excellent condition still has a lot of mint luster and you can really make out a lot of the details of the coin so that's a, a really great 1958 D then we also had a roll of memorial American pennies as well seems like we've gotten quite a bit of rolls of these 1964 pennies and again there was 51 of these, and again, a lot of these are in excellent condition. I hope uh, you can pick it up on the camera here. Again, a lot of them are extremely shiny, uh, quite a bit of detail ex uh, on them as well. Uh, definitely in great condition. And again, there was 51 of those from 1964. All right, and there we have it. So all 50 rolls have been gone through. And again, all the wheat pennies, we've just put them in these clear plastic rolls. We've organized them by decade. Now, we'll have to do uh, a count of all the results for uh, each individual roll to get a definite number of how many wheats were from each decade and how many wheats in total. Uh, but I don't think we're too far off the mark with our initial estimate of a little bit over 2,000. Uh, so that's great. Uh, a lot of wheat pennies in that box. Again, there was also uh, some memorials as well. Not every penny was a wheat penny. On uh, this pile here, uh, we just have all the memorials that weren't in that great of condition. Uh, didn't have too much uh, mint luster on it still. However, these ones on the left are extremely uh, good condition. And we've just kind of separated them uh, from each other that way as well. But I think what we'll do is just go ahead and put these in plastic rolls as well, just in case uh, they were some sort of variety that, that we are uh, not familiar with, or that there was some reason why these memorial pennies were amongst the wheat pennies. Uh, just in case, just assuming that it was a collector's uh, sort of uh, stash of pennies that got brought back into the bank. Just in case there's something important with these pennies, we'll just keep them off to the side uh, in clear plastic rolls as well. But that's it guys, 
Uh, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, that'd be great. Uh, we've really appreciated everyone who've, uh, who's done so already. We also really appreciate everyone who's followed along. Uh, if you haven't seen the previous videos, just go back. Uh, they're all there. We've done them five rolls at a time. And uh, let us know what you guys think in the comments below. That's it for now, guys. Uh, be prepared for some more videos in the near future. Take care, and we'll talk to you soon.